Wasatch provides a smooth workflow for generating cut paths in SoftDrip or using cut paths created in a separate graphics application. In just a few simple steps, you can trace, print, and cut your image. SoftDrip's cutting feature uses cues to efficiently manage all the cut paths that are generated during the printing process. To begin, open SoftDrip. Select the unit you would like to use for your cutter and click the Print Setup button. In the Setup screen, select your cutter model and set the physical connection for your cutting device. When you're done, click OK. If you're using a print cut workflow, this step is not needed. Now select the unit you would like to use for your printer and click the Print Setup button. In the Setup screen, select your printer model, imaging configuration, and physical connection. You can also select any of the other features in the Setup screen that you need when you print. From the Cutting Options section, select the cutting unit you will be using. Now check the Cutting Registration Marks box and select a registration mark that will work with your device. If you are using a print cut workflow, you don't need to select a cutting unit or cutting registration marks. If you're using a file that already has a cut path associated with it, check the box next to Process Cutting Paths. If you check the box next to Outline Jobs, a rectangular cutting path will be generated around each image. If you check the box next to Immediate, one cut copy will be output immediately. This option will only be available for cutting drivers that output to file. Once you've selected all your options, click OK. Open your image by selecting the file browser and dragging your image into the job screen. If you're working with an image that already has a cut path associated with it and you check the Process Cutting Paths box in the Setup screen, you will see a blue cut path appear around your image. If you need to create a cut path within SoftDrip, click on the Trace tab. In the Trace Options section, you can make adjustments to how your image will be traced. To change the color that SoftDrip recognizes as the background, simply right-click on the color you would like your background to be and select Background Color from the menu that opens. The Tolerance slider sets the precision of specification of the background color, usually the purity of the color on which the trace is being made. 10% is a good default for many jobs. When you set a minimum object size, any object that is smaller than the value you set will not be traced. The Choke Spread option determines how far the cut path will be offset from the edge of your image. Spread expands the cut path, while Choke contracts it. When the No Interior Paths option is selected, paths that lie inside of other closed paths will not be traced. In this example, when No Interior Paths is selected, the white spots within the butterfly are not traced. The Wrapper Only option creates a simple outer trace of the image. When a preview is not ideal, the Optimize Preview Resolution button will be active. Clicking the button will change the preview resolution and improve jagged traces when working with low resolution files or boost precision when working with high resolution files. If you only need to trace a certain portion of your image, simply draw a crop box around the portion you need to trace. Set your tracing options and complete the trace. The resulting cut path will be constrained within the crop box. You can clear all your selections by clicking the default button. When you've made all your adjustments, click Trace. You will see a blue cut path appear around your image. You can add your job to the layout screen and print multiple cut jobs at once, or you can simply rip and print your image. Now move over to the Queue screen by clicking on the Queues tab. Open the queue for your cutting unit. When you click on your cut job, the menu buttons become active. You can print your job, cancel all operations for your job, delete your job, or view the cut path for your job. Once you've moved your print to the cutting device and registered it, select the job from your cutting queue and click the Print button.